sorry if I upset you. Upset me? You're disgusting. No, I'm not. You want a baby, no one else seems to be volunteering. I ain't gonna be cheating on Dennis and definitely not with you. I can sort him out, okay? It doesn't look like it to me. You're his dad. Do you know how sick that is? I'm just being practical. You already lied to Dennis. I don't see what difference another little lie will make. Just been looking for new jobs. Nothing. Why don't you look further away? Well, away from here. Why not? Well, because that would mean moving away. Such a bad thing, was it? So I thought this was our home. I don't know where we live, as long as we're together. There's a new start for you and me, Dennis. Is this a private conversation? No. Me and Zoe are just talking about moving away. I mean, I haven't had much luck finding new work since you decided to close down the club. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to protect my family from the likes of Andy Hunter. I'm just saying it's not a bad idea. Please consider it, Dennis. It might be good for us a fresh start away from here. I'll look into it. Oi, Dennis. You've been summoned by his lordship. Oh, there you go. See ya. And you are coming with me. I've got mine the stone. No, we're going shopping. Oh, I should be up in Dennis look for the work. Well, get someone to cover for you. I'm sure Mo will be delighted. I can't. Well, yes, you can. <laughs> Well, most girls would kill for a day out of the shops instead of working. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Good. All right, I'll go and get Mo. I'll be back in ten. Anything for me, then? You're not bored of this place already, eh? Always good to know what options are out there. Rolling stone, eh? Yep. And you know something? That is how yours is one in a million. Not many women will get up their home, their business, move away from their family so their fella can find work. Well, I don't want to give up all that, do I? No, don't get me wrong. I know why you want to strike out on your own. I'd be exactly the same. I never said I wanted to. <sighs> Look, it makes sense. You're building your own family, your own little nest. But I bet she's got it already planned out. Well, if she has, she hasn't mentioned it to me. Well, she doesn't have to, trust me. She's already got it mapped out. Job for you. Decent house for her. The kid. Happy families. I never said I wanted to move anywhere. We don't have to. Those are the rules. Which is virtually impossible. Mm. That's running the family. Oh, Dennis, what was that? Kids with you? Yeah. Talk about kids with Den, he reacts like a scalded cat. Can't get away fast enough. You want to have his baby? Yeah, well, I want kids. He's my husband. Seems like a natural choice. No, I thought Den would be desperate to have more kids of his own. No, the truth is, I kept putting it off. I never really wanted them, but time's running out, you know. And Den's never said anything? No. Not as lucky as you. Count on it. Dennis has been acting a bit different to what I expected. Yeah? He won't come in within 20 feet of me. There's a bit of a problem when your bed's only four foot wide. Right. I suppose it's like you said, one minute they're all over you, the next I don't want to know. Oh, he's probably thinking of you. Oh, Dad, feels like he's totally ignoring me. No, I mean with you being pregnant. It ain't some life-threatening illness, is it? No, no, We're no. starting to feel like it is. This is really getting to you, isn't it? I just want me and Dennis to go back to how things were. We've been thinking about us getting away from here. Well, I think the time has come for you starting to play things a bit clever. How do you mean? Well, his dad's exactly the same. Sometimes Den just needs to be reminded that he can't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. All right, then, thanks. No good? I didn't like the sound of it. What was it, stacking loo rolls? No, managing some jumped up wine bar. Oh, sounds ideal. Too far away. Wouldn't they pay you cheap for you? It was the other side of London. Oh, don't worry, something will come up. I wish I could shoot off like you and Zoe. No, it's just a thought. Do me a favour, when you do jet off to paradise, stick me in your suitcase. To tell you the truth, I don't even know why she said it. I mean, I want to stay around here. Oh, you ought to go where to work, especially now you've got responsibilities. Nine months down the line, another mouth to feed. Clothes, nappies, all adds up. You've got to find something reliable. All right, what about him? Here? Yeah, no. Why not? It's the same as a club, no difference. You get frustrated. Anyway, you wouldn't want to work for me. It'd be like giving your hand out. Wouldn't bother me. I didn't think you were up for it. Well, why don't we give it a go? See how it works out. All right, the minute you get bored, you quit. In the meantime, collect some empties and wipe the table down. Hiya. Well, 
Well, she seems a bit happy. She won't be the only one who plays the cards right. Maybe what a little girl who tore the shops can do. Even someone buys some baby shops. Quite enjoy myself, actually. Sounds like a right laugh. Did you get everything you wanted? Still, he's here. Oh, yeah, he's here, all right. And he's going to be around for a lot longer from now on. Meet our new assistant manager. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. We get an experienced barman and uh, Zoe and Dennis don't get forced out of the square. Did you turn up for the bricks, babe? A couple of hours ago, we were talking about moving away. Yeah, well, now we're not. What's the matter? I thought you'd be pleased. Just quite fancy the idea, that's all. Hey, so what's in the bags? Stuff for the baby? Go on, show him. What? Show him what you got. You only had this worked out a while, then? No, not at all. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? I mean, you two are busy, I need a job. Yeah, yeah, it does. Perfect sense. You don't mind? No, of course not. Just wish you'd run it by me first. Yeah, well, it's not really a start, is it? Then, at first, think of the consequences second. <laughs> Things going that way, are they? Oh, perfectly. Especially when I'm pulling the pines. But when it comes to having the same run in this place? Only room for one boss in this establishment. Mm, not keen on sharing his train set, right? Exactly. Listen, I could have a word with him, if you like. Well, no offence, Dennis, but I think it'll do much good, do you? Probably right. Well, you didn't have to dress up for my benefit. I didn't. So aren't you going to thank me? Getting Dennis an income, helping you support the kid? So when's it due, by the way? It ain't going to happen, Dennis, so you might as well forget about it. I'm with Dennis. Not for a while, you're not. Don't mean I won't be. He still wants me, I know he does. Ah, oh, you know him best. What do you think? I think you forgot to put the rest of your clothes on. It's a skirt, Dennis. Only just. Like it? Well, they certainly do. Mm, jealous, are they? So, you're going to be a mother? I know. You better make use of me before it shows. You can't keep going on like this. Dennis, I haven't changed. I'm not just the mother of your child. Just go back upstairs and get a chance, yeah? Why don't you come with me? Are you going to make me beg for it? Watch your mouth. Can I get um, a bottle and a shot of tequila, please? So, are you and your brother setting in? Yeah, good, thanks. Are many new friends yet? Here and there, you know it is. Yeah, you can make another one if you like. I think I already have. Are you being looked after? Oh, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Where were we? I didn't realise we were anywhere. Give me a drink, we might be. Rum and Coke, please. All right, upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> what are you? Some people really need to be taught a few manners. Yeah, well, don't go start anything, all right? Did you get rid of the money? Yeah, of course. Good. Kate, okay, okay, I'm sorry. If I'd known you'd get this upset, I'd never started talking to him. It's quite nice, though. You steaming in like some caveman, dragging me away from the competition. Have you gone completely mad? What? Well, blokes like him, they're ten a penny. Now, I don't care about them, I care about you. What about me? You're having our baby. And there you are in a smoky pub, poncing drinks. I just don't get you sometimes. You're jealous, Dennis. It was written all over your face. So you're acting like nothing's changed. Not everything's changed, is it? You're not a little girl anymore out on the pool. I don't want to be out on the pool. I just want you to love me. Look, I'm trying to do my best to help and support you. Now, I've even started working for the old man. That is not what I'm asking for. I said love, Dennis. This is nice, isn't it? You're pregnant. Doesn't mean I have to be wrapped up in cotton wool. Zoe, I have to go back to work. No, come, let's go back to the flat now. Kiss. Look, things will change. You know, once you've had the baby, things will get back to normal. But now I have to work. I won't wake you up when I come in. I don't have a problem with him working here. So what is the problem? Just keep me in the loop, all right? Right, from now on I'll tell you everything. Good. Everything all right? Perfect. Oh, it doesn't look it. Oh, very good. No, 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 you've done enough babysitting. Anyway, I've got to look into the vow renewal. Anything I can do? Get away from me. I'm only trying to help. Yeah, well, I don't want your help. The clock's ticking. He's expecting a baby. What's it going to be, then? <laughs>